What's going on everybody? Josh Pocock here and in today's video we're going to be looking at how you can cancel your Perplexity subscription. You're paying 20 bucks a month to use Perplexity. We're going to look at an open source, completely free, self-hosted option and this tool is called LLM Answer Engine. All right, here's the GitHub repo. We're going to dive right into it as you can now, as you can see, number one, GitHub trending repository of the day. They got that some sort of day, I believe. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys. So, you an AI powered search engine. And the second was Morphic. Okay, so if you haven't watched those videos, go check those out too, because if you are looking for a perplexity alternative, you're going to want to see what all your options are, right? And these tools, Morphic and Perplexica, are good tools. And from what I've seen so far with LLM Answer Engine, it's actually a very good tool as well, and I'm very excited for it. So... We'll quickly go over it, then I'm going to show you how to self-host it, install it, and set everything up. All right, guys, that's really annoying. I just recorded a 20-minute video, and then once I went to edit it, it pretty much caught off. So let's just start from where we left off. And if you're new here and you got some value from this video, make sure to smash that subscribe button because we're recording another 20-minute video at 1 a.m. on a Friday. Anyways, back to the uh, LLM answer engine. Let's look at the technologies used here briefly before we dive in on how to install it. So we got Next.js, just like all the other ones that we covered pretty much for Perplexity Alternatives, it builds on Next.js using Tailwind SS uh, CSS, Vercel AI SDK, Rock and Mixtral, Langchang JS, Brave Search, Serper API Key, OpenAI Embeddings, Cheerio, Olama, uh, Upstash Redis Rate Limiting, optional, and Upstash Semantic Cache, optional. Prerequisites, you need to have Node.js installed, so download Node.js, search that up on Google, it's Node.js if you don't have it already. Obtain API keys from OpenAI, Grok, Brave Search, and Serper, so it gives you the direct links right here. So all links will be in the description down below, including this repo, so you can just go here and get those API keys if you don't already have them. All right, what we're going to do to install this is... You're going to want to go to um, your terminal, all right? And you can go to whatever location you want to install it, whether that's your desktop, make a directory on there. And then basically, you're going to git clone. You're just going to run this command, git clone, and you're going to clone this repo in there, all right? This is the LLM answer engine repo. Okay, from that point on, you're going to install the required dependencies. You can either do this through node, which is npm install, um, or you can do this through bun. All right. So if you're going to do it through bun, of course, you got to make sure you have bun installed. I did this through NPM. So yeah, whatever you want, just do it through that method. Okay. Okay. Now you're going to need to configure your environment variables. Okay. So what you do this is when you open up your, um, your LLM and, uh, LLM answer engine, when you open up that file, You'll see, and I'll just quickly show you here, LLM, LLM. Let's just show you where LLM answer engine is right here. Okay, so I open this up, and you'll see I have an environment variable here. This was actually called example dot environment, uh, NV, e, uh, env, I believe, something like example or whatever. So I simply, instead of creating a new one, like it says here, I just renamed it. And when you open it, it's going to give you a bunch of different kind of uh, options. Well, it's going to look like this, basically. Um, it's going to look a little different because I, I just removed these API keys just so I can show you guys. But basically, let's just kind of go over this quickly. We got our Grok API key here, OpenAI API key here, Serper API key, and Brave Search. Then we got o, uh, option for uh, Olama base URL. And then we got some options here. Now, I believe when it first, like when I first got open this, it, it had one of these. It just had either Redis or Vector. Um, I don't know exactly which one it had. I can't remember. But basically, I you're going to need both. Well, actually, you're going to need Vector for sure. That's 100%. I don't 100% know if you need the Redis one. 
you can either just add the vector one or if you're running into issues add the redis one or do them both out of box either one works or so yeah either way you do that works but you're gonna need vector i was getting an issue before because i didn't have the i was trying to i, I don't know but you're gonna need vector i know that and maybe redis i just did both though so you can test that out and see which works but anyways that's how i have it set up here um there's also other options like you can configure such as google search a uh, search api key port key api key spotify client id and all that stuff uh aws red uh, bedrock and then file ai so stable diffusion 3 um so got a bunch of different options and then it even mentions to here you go to the config.tx uh tsx within the app uh, i believe yeah and within the app and then it, uh app folder directory you'll see that there's options that you can toggle to true or false or whatever the case may be and some stuff like uh, oloma inference embeddings search provider so you can change it to serper or uh google serper is default whatever the case may be inference model you got here and all this other stuff right so once you're done that with the environment file you're going to save it and then you're simply going to obviously you know make sure you're within that folder and you're going to either npm run dev or bun run dev okay so depending on what you're using of course here just talks more about the uh, configurations and whatnot and function calling support is in beta so maps and locations shopping etc uh olama support partially supported and then roadmap so it's kind of interesting they got like add document upload for rag and document search retrieval also too guys one thing i want to mention if you um if you watch my video on i believe it's uh, morphic morphic requires i believe um upstash here it says like within here in the github repo i believe it's i, I mean from what i i just read and maybe it says somewhere else about this but it kind of says it's optional for upstash and maybe it is maybe you can like toggle it on or off i i was getting errors without it without running this so at least i just found it simpler just to include it so um yeah at least for me what i was finding was it was required but maybe there's a way to configure it off whatever the case may be but uh morphic required it and if you already have this set up upstash then you can it will be pretty easy but it's still easy it's very simple it's free you just simply um go to upstash.com link will be in the description down below and to create a redis you just go to redis and you create a database and it won't let me create another one because i already have one and i'm on the free tier so yeah it's free but um once you do that you create the database and you literally just click into it i'm not going to do it just because i don't want to sh show that information but you click into it and you'll literally see your uh url um for your database for your redis database and your a and your key for it right so you would just copy that paste it in your environment va uh, variables and for vector it's a little bit different same thing basically you just create an index name it whatever choose whatever region okay you're gonna need to select an embedding model okay you, you, you this is like mandatory so you can select really whatever one you want from what i believe i think i use like smaller base right here just because and um you know you can click on see documentation right here get more information on the upstash embeddings if you want to see like the dimensions the sequ sequence length all right and the different scores on the mtb right so yeah if you want you can check that out we have like the um the models and all that but really any one will should work but uh and then yeah so once you get that um all and all, you just run npm run dev what you're gonna get is this um we're gonna get our nice answer engine well llm answer engine okay so what do we do from here well let's go ahead and test how it compares to a perplexity search okay so let's go ahead and just use how is apple stock doing these days okay and boom so i'm not shocked right now because i just like i said i recorded this video already so i know exactly what's going to happen plus i've used this a bit but I, when i first recorded i was kind of like whoa wow oh it even has like an embedded chart right here and if i was like a you know stock trader that 
likes to analyze charts and stuff and i'm looking up using this as um an llm to search like this is pretty cool because i can literally analyze a chart right here this is like something like you would see in uh, yeah this is trading view so this is like what everyone uses to analyze charts and whatnot um so yeah i think that's pretty cool and then over here on the right we got pictures so i do like this interface because we got pictures up here and it's like a nice user interface where you can just kind of click through and see the different images then we have videos right below it so i do really like this user interface um here of course we have our sources so similar to perplexity we have the sources and it's a very simple user interface so that that's definitely like good um definitely could be improved upon like it's not perfect but uh anyways let's look at the response because that's what really matters so we got apple stock performance we got overview we got financial performance we got analyst ratings we got news and trends dividend and yield technical indicators right so pretty decently sized overview response and uh then of course we could copy this we could regenerate this to get a new uh answer or we could answer or basically have a, a chat and do uh follow-up questions and, and you can see this one is powered by grok so it's inference time is going to be fast and that's great you know i really do like grok um using the lpus and pose from the gpus anyways so yeah so then what's the latest news uh driving apple's stock prices you could ask that whatever it's gonna give you some potential answers or you could just type in a message right so let's take a look at perplexities option uh, for that exact same question here's what we get so first off um yeah we get pro this is what the pro search to so we can see our searches here or our sources right we can see a bit of information about the company we do get a little stock graph here but it's it's uh it's not as good uh, maybe it looks kind of cool with the dark mode but it's not as good as like the trading view one that we get over an answer engine this is like a fully interactive one through trading view it's literally like an embedded thing through trading view so you could use it to some degree pretty awesome here it's just kind of a chart so i'd say answer uh engine actually wins in that regard and i actually really like that that actually sh kind of shocked me the first time using it i was like damn that's cool because i'm used to perplexity I, I haven't seen that before even in the ones i mean i didn't ask the ones i did um morphic and perplexica i didn't ask them this question this specific question so i don't know if they would give the embedding of trading view but i do like how this one does okay here we just have like perplexity so performance re uh, recent performance financial highlights market reaction key factors analyst outlook all right i believe i'm using gpt4 omni here for the generation so i mean uh grok i believe it's using like uh one of the open source models so it's prob i mean it's probably not as high quality as gpt4 omni just because of the model but um but yeah in terms of the generation and the how, how uh answer engine is doing i i really like it you can see obviously with perplexity we have our related questions here you know your search images search videos and so you do have to click that button to get access to that um, but you can also generate images so that's kind of cool but other than that guys um that's pretty much it in terms of installing answer engine and and using it um let me know in the comments down below what you guys prefer are you going to use answer engine are you going to use still perplexity or are you going to use some of the other uh open source tools that we went over in the last few days such as morphix such as perplexica have you already checked those out if not check out those videos uh you can just go on my channel and you'll see the the like most recent videos perplexica and uh morphic and i'll even leave those two videos linked in the description down below so if you do if you are someone that wants to use a perplexity alternative you can be sure that you are picking the best one for your needs and check out all the different options and i'll do some more as well on this channel so make sure to stay tuned smash that like button smash that subscribe button but you know we are seeing that uh, a lot of these open source models for are pretty good comparative to perplexity perplexity i still say does have its strong suits like i do like the pro search just because like sometimes if you're doing a lengthy search that's maybe a bit complex you can see it goes through different options and like different searches and queries and i, I personally like kind of like that um but 
you know at the end of the day we are seeing one the open source rise and and there it's everything with open source is getting much more powerful on the other end too we also have like open ai that's basically releasing search gpt now or at least in beta or alpha or whatever so that's a direct competitor to perplexity and i'm already paying for open ai and perplexity and like claude so if OpenAI has something that becomes just as good, if not better than Perplexity, then I could just cancel my Perplexity subscription and just pay for only Claude and OpenAI and whatever whatever other ones I want to pay for, right? So that's kind of how it's looking for Perplexity. I do say that they do have its like strong suits at the moment. It definitely has an advantage in the market at the moment. But um, yeah, with everything like uh, improving so quickly, we'll see if Perplexity can stay the top search api in the next year or so right so that'll be interesting let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below but uh other than that guys i think that's pretty much it i'm trying to remember if i talked about anything uh in my first video but i don't think i did so if uh oh yeah also too guys what i will say um and i did mention this when you are talking to uh any llm whether it's open source uh or perplexity or open ai prompting is key you really got to make sure you're prompt engineering properly you're like trying to do it to get the best results it's something i do on a daily basis i mean i use these ai models every single day for my business for me personally as well as for my clients so um definitely check out some of the other videos on the channel i've done videos showcasing different ways to prompt for different use cases and you could probably get some good ideas there also too guys i have a full chapter in my book client acquisition code talking about prompting in depth so definitely check that out if you haven't already link for that will be in the description down below also too guys if you're new here we upload videos every single day on ai automation business marketing growth whatever the case may be so if that's something that you're interested in if you got some value here then definitely smash that like button smash that subscribe button definitely show support to the channel because uh yeah we're, we uh, are definitely trying to improve the quality and everything on these videos and uh, give you guys the most value possible i got some really good stuff on the way coming for you guys and then uh, also too guys if you haven't already join our free community stridecommunity.com we have about 750 to 800 members in our free facebook group free discord channel so you can join network connect with myself as well as other like-minded entrepreneurs ai enthusiasts agency owners coaches consultants business owners coders developers all that uh, all those awesome people are in the stride community so it's 100 free link for that will be in the description down below guys and everything i talked about is in the description down below so definitely check that out to uh, make sure you followed along properly and got you know this installed so if you had any questions or any issues with this let me know in the comments and i'll uh, help you out and then if you have any suggestions with future videos let me know and uh, maybe i'll do one on just that so other than that guys i will see you in tomorrow's video thank you for watching keep hustling keep grinding and of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.